welcome to another video by TribuD44. Uh, today I got a pretty good treat for us. I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the MSI 6990 dual GPU graphics card. Now, I think today is the 17th maybe, so uh, the GTX 590 has not came out yet. And so, as of right now, this is the fastest graphics card on the planet. So, uh, I bought the MSI version. I actually got two of them. And some people have been asking me, what, you know, what about your build? What's your build going to be? Well, I'm going to go with the 6990s. Uh, I think probably the F NVIDIA 590 will be a better performer. NVIDIA is a good company. They aren't going to come out second and not have a better performance. So I think that's going to be the case. But I kind of like the power signature that I think this is going to have uh, a lot better than the 590. And I also like the BIOS switch that's on the uh, 6990 and I'll show you that when we get into it. Uh, I went with the MSI version. Uh, the main reason why is I've had MSI in the past and they've done fine. They're pretty easy to get a hold of and uh, they're good for their warranties. Uh, but one reason is the afterburner you know that is the premier software to overclock your graphics cards and MSI does not lock it where it only works with MSI parts you can use uh, afterburner for any branded parts where if you look at EVGA precision it will only work with EVGA parts so I like a company that uh, is innovative and it doesn't uh, focus solely on making itself profit so okay let's go ahead and have a look at the box the box is really nice. Uh, comes with a MSI three years warranty. Comes with, of course, the latest version of MSI Afterburner. I think the latest version now is 2.1, and I believe you can download that as well. Uh, it's Radeon. It supports iAffinity. It has four gigabytes of GDDR5, which is excellent. It's DirectX 11 uh, compliant. It has four mini display ports, which I like mini display ports. And uh, ready for 3D Mark uh, 11. I wish it had a copy of 3D Mark 11 here. I don't think it does. It just says ready. It doesn't say that it's inside. So let's go ahead and look at the back. Okay, here is the back. And as you can see, there's probably 20 uh, different languages on, on your right side there. And it just shows here that it's optimized and and uh, has profiles. So okay, let's get into it. And this is one huge box too. I ordered a motherboard that's going to be for my uh, personal gaming build, and this box is actually bigger than the motherboard box. So there it is right there. Let me zoom in a little bit. It is one massive card. You can see, you know, there's my hand. It's like two of my hands. <laughs> so. Okay. Let's see here. It has a plastic cover on the top of it. Take that off. I'm going to go ahead and pull the card out and then we'll look at what's inside first. Uh, let's look at all the, the goodies that we get. Okay. I think that's all of them. Okay, the first thing that we get is a, looks like it's an, it's an HDMI to uh, mini display port adapter. That's the first thing we get. Then we get a DVI to mini display port adapter. Remember, this card only has one DVI and it has four mini display ports, so I think that's why you're getting so many adapters. Here's another DVI mini display port. And here is a, it's a six pin to eight pin adapter. So I guess they're assuming if you have a power supply, it has an eight pin and a six pin. This graphics card requires two 8 pins, so it gives you an adapter. I take that back, it gives you two adapters. So if you only have six pins, you can make them 8 pins. Okay, this right here, it has a uh, 
hard crossfire bridge. It's one that is not bendy. So if you have it a certain distance away, you can put this in there. And uh, it actually looks better than the kind that bend. But what they also include is a bendy crossfire bridge. And that means no matter where you stick the card, whether they're close or far apart, you'll be able to use and be able to get connectivity. So that's good. Here is a quick user's guide. It's in color. I'm not going to go through the pages on it. And then here is a, uh, I guess this is how you install software, it's telling you. And it tells you actually some of the parts on the card, which I was surprised to see that uh, it shows, if, I, if you let me zoom in here, okay, it shows the BIOS switch right there, 6 BIOS switch. But I'll tell you what, I looked through the uh, packaging and I could not find anywhere where it said which one was the 375 watt BIOS and which in which position do you put it in for the 450 watt BIOS. I mean, it just it's not in the uh, materials here, so I had to actually go on the internet to figure it out. There we go. Okay, now for the card. Go ahead. Okay, turn it around. Okay, there it is. Uh, it is very long. And I'm going to go ahead and measure it here in just a second for you. Comes in the anti static wrap. Go ahead and pull it out. Put that to the side. And so there it is. A very huge card. It's a nice looking card. Let's go ahead and see how, how long it is. Okay. So from... Looks to me like it is exactly, almost exactly, it's one foot long. Twelve inches. And I think the 5970 was eleven and a half, so this is slightly longer than the 5970. I'll turn it up on its end and see how thick it is. And this is where I think some of the Radeon cards are really thick. It looks to me like it's an in, it's over an inch and a half. Uh, let me see that again. Yeah, that's right, over an inch and a half. So now one thing I'll note. Well, there's a couple. I mean, there's a couple things. First of all. Here is a, uh, it's a yellow tab that shows you, uh, it says caution, read owner's manual before removing. And underneath this is the BIOS switch. And like I said, <laughs> you read the manual, it tells you there's a BIOS switch there, but it doesn't tell you anything about it. And maybe I've missed it, but I don't think I did. Uh, let's look at some of the other features. It's uh, two 8 pins like I said and they're not together they're spaced a little bit I'm not sure I like that I would want them to be on top of each other it's easier to make the wires look right uh, there may be a reason they did that I don't know uh, but one other thing that I want you to note is if you look and I don't know if you can see it if, if you can see that right here remember on my, pre, my client build 4 video where I was building the AMD rig uh, I said if you put two of these cards together with back plates, they're right on top of each other, and you can't hardly get any airflow. Well, it looks to me like they put two little rubber tabs. There you go. That's a good. So there's one there. If I go over to the other end, there's another one right there. And what that's going to do when you put another card right on top of it, it's not going to, it's not going to choke off the top card with those rubber stoppers. So there are two on there. And so I think that's they were thinking when they done that. Okay, the end of the card, uh, you have the top piece is going to be the exhaust, and then the bottom piece are the, is going to be the uh, connectors. Here's your four mini display ports, and then here is your DVI. The one thing I like about the way they've done this over the 590s that we had in the previous video, uh, or I mean, I'm sorry, the uh, 5970. 6970. I will get it right, I promise. 
if you remember from the previous video when we had the 6970, they had some connectors stacked on top of each other, so that means when you use a water block, you, it won't it will not be a truly single card solution because you have to keep you know since there's the, since the connectors are stacked on top, you have to keep the double connector. On this one, it looks to me like if you buy a water block for it, you can make it a single slot card because all the connectors are on the bottom. So that's something to think about, especially for those of you that fill up your uh, input output. Uh, connectors completely. Be sure to take that off. There's where you connect it into your motherboard. Uh, let's see, I like the picture on it. It says afterburn on it. it says MSI and it has the R6990. Uh, MSI usually puts an R in front of their cards for whatever reason. I think it stands for Radeon. So let me go ahead and I'm going to pull this sticker off and see if I can. Uh, get a close-up of the BIOS switch. Okay, I got the sticker off the BIOS switch. I want to see if you all can see this. I'm going to try to get a close-up as good as I can get it. Okay, right there you can see that little tiny switch. And it's small too. You need a little flathead screwdriver. You cannot do it with your fingernail uh, to actually change that switch. Now what I found out from what I've read on the internet is the card ships factory in the 375 setting and so, and that is the setting with the switch towards the input output bracket that way. <laughs> and then, if you move that switch in, it will be in the 450 watt setting, which that's where mine will be because I will be overclocking. So, uh, this is kind of the first unboxing uh, of the 6990. Uh, it's going to be for my personal build. I have two of these and I'm going to pair it with the Asus Sabretooth uh, P67 board and I will probably be doing an unboxing of it so uh, please list any comments or questions that you have. Uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe.